A Florida woman pulls her pants down to urinate in the aisle during a flight. A Florida man is arrested for touching himself on various neighbors' porches. A Florida man drove into a car show staff after being denied entry. And a Florida man threw Oreos at his wife during an argument over a coffee maker. These are the weird stories for Friday on Weird AF News. They're all from the state of Florida because... On Friday, we only do weird news from Florida on Weird AF News. It's Florida Friday is what we call it. Yay! Florida Friday. Here we go. Florida Friday. Yeah! Come on, Florida Friday. Come on. A Florida woman attempts to pee in the aisle during a flight. Uh, You can take the Florida woman out of Florida, but you can't. You can't take the Florida woman pee smell out of the carpet. (laughs) What does a Florida woman pee smell like, you're wondering? I'm glad you asked. Well, it smells like Fireball and Marble or Red 100s. Okay, so we have a woman riding on a Frontier Air. Ooh, classy. Frontier Airlines. She tried to pee on the Frontier Airlines flight. If it was a Spirit Airlines, she would have tried to go number two. So a woman flying on Frontier Airlines from Florida to Philadelphia. She flashed her passengers after pulling down her pants mid-flight in a video, in a video that I watched, and I can no longer unwatch it. The woman has not been publicly identified. She was uh, caught on video by a passenger named Julie. Julie shared the video on social media. It went pretty viral, and now everybody's wondering, when did airlines' flights become more like Denny's at 2 (laughs) a.m.? The customer's just peeing in the hallways. Um, The woman in the video says, sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. I have to do this. And she pulls down her pants and squats in the aisle. The woman indicated that she intended to relieve herself in the aisle after reportedly being told she couldn't use the bathroom by a flight attendant. Other passengers on the flight can be heard shouting at her with one saying that there were children on the plane. There's children on the plane. How could you? You think that's going to stop a Florida woman from peeing on the plane? Telling her there's children on the plane. You could tell her there's cops on the plane. She's still going to piss on the plane. It's a Florida woman. Yep, she don't give a damn. Floridians don't care. You know, I've learned that about two-thirds of all Floridians should probably only travel in livestock trucks. <laughs> They're just a bunch of animals, man. Uh, in the video, the woman is seen squatting, and then she pulls her pants back up and then yells, I don't give a bleep. No bleep, bleep you, I gotta go pee. She eventually walks away and is confronted by a flight attendant. You can't see if she's arrested in the video. I like to imagine that she was. Oh, good job, now you're on the no-fly zone and you're a sex offender at the same time. Good job, lady. Meanwhile, other passengers on the flight can be heard saying, That poor little boy! Likely referring to the young boy in the seat next to where the woman dropped her pants and squatted. (laughs) Yeah, that poor boy is going to need some therapy. Well, that poor boy is a Florida man in the making anyway, so this is just part of his early life socialization. In another video, the woman was seen confronting several of the other passengers aboard the flight while screaming and cursing at all of them. All right, all right. This woman ought to team up with the diarrhea passenger from Delta from a few months ago. Remember that incident? (laughs) The two of them. (laughs) The bathroom duo. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, yeah, 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 it's good. A Florida man arrested for touching himself on people's porches explains to the judge that he must continue his mission. What is his mission exactly? To touch himself on porches? How many porches before the end of the year? This guy's got a goal. You got to hand it to him. Not a lot of Florida men have goals. And, uh, I mean, who of us can say we're even keeping our 2023 New Year's resolutions all the way to the end? (laughs) This guy's keeping it. Let a man finish on a porch, will you? What's wrong with you? (laughs) All right, let's get into the story. Let's get into the details. We have a 59-year-old Florida man with a history of sex-related crimes. What a surprise. He's facing a possible life sentence after he was caught on surveillance cameras, attempting to break into several homes in a residential area and masturbating outside of them. His name is David Rankin. David did himself no favors when, in court, he interrupted the judge. Ooh, I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Uh, David um, raised his hand and said, Your Honor, if I could interrupt you, 
I'm on a mission I have to complete by year's end. <laughs> now, Your Honor, being tethered, and that's when the judge interrupted him, and I would have loved to have heard what he had to say after that. More about his mission, how important it was. What is the mission? What if this guy must do everything that he can to prevent Skynet <laughs> from taking over? He's got to find John Connor and wank on his porch, maybe. <laughs> What's the mission, man? Achievement unlocked. Porch porkin. Porch porkin. <laughs> oh, Florida man. Oh, your Honor, Your Honor, I got my eyes set on that Guinness World Record for most neighbor porch wanks in one calendar year. I'm up, <laughs> I'm up to 72. <laughs> wow, man. This guy just interrupts and says, this is my mission? If you let me go, Your Honor, I'll touch myself more and more on more people's porches. Uh, that's kind of a crazy thing to say at your arraignment, I'm going to say. <laughs> I'll take things never to say to a judge for 800, Alex. <laughs> I need to keep wanking on porches. got to finish my mission. I have a feeling Mr. Rankin's going to go to jail for a long time. They have a lot of evidence. The suspect attempted to enter at least three homes. The suspect, when the suspect realized he could not enter one of the homes, he proceeded to just expose himself to the door, doorbell camera, the ring doorbell camera, and masturbate. It says here the suspect attempted to enter at least two other homes, but again was unable to do so due to the doors being locked and again touched himself on the porch. It seems to be his, um, his pattern. And uh, So that's the charge, indecent exposure. Do you think he's going to beat it? Beat the charge? <laughs> A Florida man tried to run over a staff member at the car show after being turned away from the car show. We have the star of our story, Florida man Anthony Guerra of the Villages. Oh, you guys know about the Villages, that retirement area featuring senility, insanity, and STDs. Well, apparently, Anthony arrived at the car show. Just want to have a good time at the car show with a group of friends, but... Anthony became very angry when the staff didn't let him into the event. They, the staff let another group of cars into the car show before his. Anthony wasn't pleased with this. He began revving his car's engine. Several witnesses claim that Anthony then purposely ran the staff member over. <laughs> it says ran the staff member over. Like the whole body of the staff member or just the, the shoes or something? This guy. Fine, I can't come into the car show. Me and my 86 Corolla and I are going to do our own car show. Take that. <laughs> You're not going to let me and old Jolene in? Oh, my baby and I have been together since 86. 490K miles with her. Isn't she gloriful? <laughs> oh, you're not going to let us in? We're going to have our own car show. <laughs> says here, Anthony was arrested at the scene, but reports claim that he began shaking uncontrollably after the police took him into custody. Oh, don't fall for that, police. The old Florida man defense trying to get out of custody by just shaking uncontrollably. Oh, you can't arrest me. I got I got old man nerves. He was transferred to a hospital for checks before being booked into a jail where he was charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, etc. The victim, who has not been named by the authorities, confirmed that they do intend to press charges against Anthony after they were hit by his car and rolled up the trunk due to the force of the impact. Okay, so he got hit from behind. The car hit him, uh, rear-ended him, and he rolled up the trunk, but he's, I guess he's okay. The victim needed to go to the hospital, but is expected to be okay, thankfully. Um, and, and, you know, this is just more evidence towards the case of never allowing the citizens of the villages to go out into the real world, ever. Just let them stay in there. Just put a... Just put barbed wire around the villages, man. Don't let them leave. It's, it's not good. Want to create a podcast? Spotify's platform lets you easily make, record, and distribute a podcast everywhere. Even earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters. Record and edit on your phone or computer. Send it to Spotify and everywhere podcasts are heard. They even have video podcasting options. Spotify for Podcasters allows you to earn money with ads and subscriptions, too. Best of all, it's free. Try it. Download Spotify for Podcasters 
or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your life, man. A Florida man throws Oreos at his wife while arguing over the empty coffee maker. Oh, boy, what a title. That just lays it all out. It's very clear now. The motivation, the weapon that was involved. <laughs> Let's see if we can make any sense of this. A Florida man allegedly threw a package of Oreo cookies at his wife while the two were arguing over their empty coffee maker. Deputies wrote in the affidavit that Florida man John Sandoval, age 70, was arrested after he allegedly threw an entire package of Oreo cookies at his wife while the two argued over their coffee maker that had no water in it. Was the argument over whether or not there was water in it? Was the argument over whose turn it was to fill it with water? That could have been a thing. I don't condone chucking Oreos at your wife, ever. That's never acceptable. But, like, I want details, man. It was someone's turn to make the coffee. According to the Lake County Sheriff's deputies, the couple who has been married for over 40 years got into a verbal argument while sitting at a table. At one point, Sandoval allegedly became, quote, aggressive and threw the package of Oreo cookies at her chest, which caused her to fall. Huh. Man, how fast were these Oreos thrown at her chest? This guy's got an arm like Randy Johnson. <laughs> I'm looking at him. He doesn't look like a superstar Major League Baseball pitcher. He looks well beyond his years to be able to throw Oreos with the velocity that it would take to knock somebody over. But apparently this guy's walking around with a golden arm. I think the story should be <laughs> man arrested for throwing Oreos at his wife discovered to possibly be the next greatest Major League Baseball closer. <laughs> That's the story here. I'm sure the Marlins are looking for a pitcher. Um, Sandoval, the Florida man, also placed his hands on her throat while she was on the ground, uh, adding his that his her airways were restricted. Yeah, that you can't do these this sorts of behavior. You can't do this sorts of behavior, Jonesy. Where did you learn to talk? I don't know. Doing weird news. The woman's daughter urged her mother to file charges in the incident. I mean, probably should. There's one thing to throw cookies at someone, but then when you get on top of them and choke them out, I mean, that's just not, that's just extra violence. That sh at that point, you're like, restraining order is, it's time for restraining order. They have been married 40 years, though. You know, eventually, they're going to choke each other out, and that's how it works, right, from my understanding. You don't go 40 years in a marriage without, at one point, each of you having your hands around the other's throat, <laughs> you know? Now, it says here, when interviewed by the detectives, Florida man Sandoval admitted that he picked up a package of Oreo cookies and threw it at his wife, but didn't have any recollection of grabbing her by the throat at all. Now, he's, uh, he's pleading the fifth on that one. Now, I think something we're learning, which is good to know, next time you got to defend yourself in your home, you know, Oreos, nice weapon of choice. And if you throw them with enough velocity, you can actually knock somebody to the floor, apparently. So this is all helpful information at the end of the day. This is what, this is what I provide on Weird AF News. Yay! Hello, my friends and loyal listeners. Thanks for joining me for this Florida Friday episode. And a special thanks to those of you who sent me Florida Friday articles the past two days. That made my job easier. It allowed me to record the, the best Florida Friday episode that I could, despite my health. You're probably wondering, what, what is the update on Jonesy's health? Well, uh, yesterday, Thanksgiving, I took a COVID test in the morning, and bingo, positive. Great, 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 great Thanksgiving Jonesy had. <laughs> COVID on Thanksgiving, wow. Pretty, pretty awful, yeah, yeah. Not as bad as the, uh, the Thanksgiving that I spent uh, throwing up in a in a park in Culver City. That was uh, I did that nut allergy issue. I also had I spent one Thanksgiving at a panda a Panda Express all alone. That was a good time too. So this was uh, this wasn't as bad as either of those times. <laughs> Someone brought me food, which was great. Which was, I had some amazing food. I was so pleased. I didn't lose my sense of taste, which some people do. But no, I, I never lost my sense of taste. Both times I've had this. And man, was the food good. Oh, my goodness. Amazing mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, cranberry sauce, yams. Oh, a piece of apple pie and 
a piece of pumpkin pie. Oh, living it up, baby. I couldn't have the stuffing because there was chestnuts in it. I'm grateful that the person told me because I was going to dig in. You couldn't tell by the uh, via the eye test that there was chestnuts in the damn stuffing. Who puts chestnuts in stuffing, man? What is this? Never heard of such a thing. So stupid. Unnecessary. I've also encountered walnuts in stuffing before. I think that's stupid. Get the nuts out of the stuffing, man. There's no need for it at all. People want to get crazy, though. I even had nuts in cranberry sauce. That was the... That was my nut allergy issue that Thanksgiving. There was nuts in the cranberry sauce. No no idea who the hell puts nuts in a cranberry sauce either. Hey, how about we keep nuts out of our Thanksgiving meals? It's just not necessary. On the desserts, fine. You want to have nuts on the desserts, but just like let everybody know. You know, this is a pecan pie. Okay, it's obvious. Stay away. God damn, these nuts, man. There's just no, there's just no need for them. All right, enough of my nut rage. Let's go on to the... Let's go on to... Oh, man, I'm sweating bullets in this closet, man. Let me uh, uh, let me read a review I got here uh, from Paul. Five stars from Paul. Yeah, give it up to give it up for Paul. He wrote great giggle. <laughs> That's really funny. Great giggle. He got a great giggle. I'm so grateful, Paul. Paul wrote, "We like the show. It's a good way to start out your day." Jonesy is an awesome host. He's a comedian stuck in a closet that may sing an alligator song or two. It's hard enough to stay funny all the time in our current climate of offending people. Luckily, the good people of Florida are not offended or too dumb to care. Anyway, keeping, keep doing you, Jonesy, and Weird AF News. If ever you're in the suburbs of Philadelphia, hit us up to burn one with you, Paul and Joanna. Wow, how awesome are Paul and Joanna? What a cool couple. That was a great review, by the way. Thank you so much for writing that. That just made me feel amazing. I totally would love to burn one with you, with you two in, in the suburbs of Philadelphia. Oh, man, that would be amazing. I like people from Philly because they're like, um, they're very crass, uh, they're brutally honest, they're funny, and they're huge sports fans. That's like everything that I love in a person. <laughs> and they party too, they party, they totally get, they like to drink, they like to pound it in Philly. Um, and there's good Italian food in Philly too. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, let, let's do it, let's hang out in Philly, I'm totally down. Oh man, that would really cheer me up. Uh, anyways. Thank you so much for the review. If you guys want to leave me a review, like my Philadelphia, my new Philadelphia friends, please go to Amazon or uh, Apple Podcasts. Or if you're listening on Spotify, you could just click five stars. Yeah, on the app doesn't take long. Don't really uh, doesn't really give you the option of writing a review per se, but you could just click on the five stars, and that would be supremely helpful. And it doesn't take more than you know, five seconds. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate that for the holidays. If you want to support me, go to weirdafnews.com and you could buy me a coffee or join the Patreon as well. That's another way to support me for the holidays. Or you could download the Patreon app on your phone. Just do a search for Weird AF News. I'm the only one there. All right. I'm grateful for all of you, all of my listeners. That's what I'm grateful for. You're supposed to state what you're gra- grateful for on Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for all of you. Without you, where would I be? You know, I'd just be a guy in a closet just recording for nobody. So this is great. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you're having a lovely holiday with your loved ones. Thank you so much. See you soon.